Tyler here with you as usual and delighted to have the company of Alan Smith. Thank you, Martin. It's a pleasure to be here. Southampton in action today against Chelsea. And Southampton! And it's Chelsea we'll be looking at today. Well, they're in a Euro League spot, Martin, aren't they? And they've just got to keep on doing the things that have got them into this position. Not always easy when the pressure's on at this stage. Ryan Bertrand. Number 14, Oriol Reville. Number 18, Mario Lamina. Number 16. Alan, I'd love to get your take on this wonderful player, Aiden Hazard. Well, he is wonderful, isn't he? And he's at the top of his game at the moment. He's going to be a, a real handful today, I think. And number nine, Guido Carrillo. Here's the Southampton team for you. Ryan Bertrand starts with Cedric Suarez in the fullback positions. Mario Lamina starts with Oriol Romeu in midfield. We'll see how the striking option works with just one up front. One thing to look out for from this team today is the way they try and win the ball back within seconds of losing it. Yeah, and they don't do it individually, they get backed up by a teammate, they hunt in packs, and you've got to do that, you've got to do it with discipline. One of the most uh, southern football clubs in England, Southampton. And this is a relatively new home for them, St Mary Stadium. I've enjoyed some good times in recent years when you think of Pochettino's season and then Ronald Koeman, success he enjoyed. I'd be hoping they can continue that. And for your information, today's referee, Andre Marin. Here's Lemina. Redmond. And he gives it back to him. Really getting at the opposition this far up the pitch now. Some options now for the pass. Working the ball around, working the opposition around. Here's Lemina. Well, it's a nice bit of skill, but the defending, well, it was woeful. Good play until they got that challenge in. Well, that'll be a throw. Here's Fabregas. Played down the wing, keeping the wide attack going. Good work, really, to read the intention of the pass. Neatly intercepted. Now, this looks promising. It's Ward Prowse. He's got his shot off now. It's a brilliant stop. Corner now for Southampton. Played in by Tadic. Defender did well to get to it. Got to be. Oh, saved by the goalkeeper at full stretch. On the move and able to cut out the pass. Stevens. He's coming forward with some danger. Throwing coming up.
Bertrand. Here's Lemina. Good football between these two. Nice passing. He's got support here. Nathan Redmond. Stopped emphatically and just as well. The approach play looked very encouraging. Break quickly when they get possession. He might be through. William threads it through. They're going to get a corner here because of that deflection. Well, let's go back to that great save from Courtois. That was top class. That's frustrating to the coaches to see a corner there defended at the front post so easily. Able to cut that out with um, some sharp movement. Cedric. James Ward-Prowse. Well, I don't know who the lad saw there passing the ball. Somebody in the crowd, maybe. Lucian Tadic. Just read the intentions of the opposition there to make the interception. Good defending. Redmond. Nathan Redmond. Steered through. Good position. They've worked this attack very well. Into a quite a dangerous position now. It's a shot now. It's a good goal for them. And they have been playing well. No one can really complain about them taking the lead here. They have been much the better side. And it's a fine piece of finishing. Well, for a fraction of a second, Alan, I thought he was going to keep it out. He did get a touch on the ball, the goalkeeper, but in it went. Yeah, he's annoyed with himself there. He's his own harshest critic and feels he should have done better. Antonio Conte, not used to losing, really, in recent years, but uh, he's in that situation now and he's not happy. So it's Southampton with the lead. Goal for Southampton, number 14, Oriol Ramu. Marcos Alonso. Well, for Chelsea, there are difficulties here. Half-time is approaching and they are trailing. And uh, certainly be some words in that dressing room at half-time. The fourth official has indicated... There will two be minutes minimum. left, that's two added time. time. Golo Conte. Well, this attack has got a bit of menace to it. Hit the post. Moses! Super reflexes from the goalkeeper. Well, the referee has signaled for half time and it's 1 0 here. Well, the player that we're featuring here has done well. He's certainly been an influence on this first half. Yeah, and what a good time to score that was. A good side in the lead. did well to get to it, got to be, oh, saved by the goalkeeper at full stretch. Good position, they've worked this attack very well, into a quite a dangerous position now. And it's a shot now! Well, here comes the second half started by Chelsea. Marcos Alonso. Morata. Cesc Fabregas. That's Filiqueta. Attacking now. That'll be a throw. Well, 
Moses. Looking for Azar. That's come off the goalkeeper, still in play. Only partially cleared, so there's still... Morata. And it's in for the equaliser. A goal for Murata. What an effort that is. Look at the keeper, he's just flat footed. First time, bottom left. Let's have another peek at that goal. It is uh, level, both sides have scored here now. Well, I like the look. And the referee has given the free kick. Here's Conte. Hazard, and it's going to be an attacking move, this from Chelsea. Whipped in from the wide area. And that header takes the ball out of play. William. And that'll be a throw. Substitution for Southampton. It's a change here, and I think it might be a tactical one. Chelsea attacking here. They spread it out wide here. Chance to get some width. To... Morata! And that's an excellent goal. They're in front now. And that was that team at their very best, Alan. Well, it's come in from a long way out, and from that angle, it's not always easy to finish. Defenders caught out by it in the end. Well, he's a he's a fantastic header of the ball, and he's, his marker stood no chance there. So Chelsea. In front. Goal for Chelsea. Oriol Romeo. Mario Lemina. Says Fabregas. It towards Hazard. Played in the clear. It's opened up. It's in. Fine moment for them. They've got a firmer grip on the game now. They're two ahead. It's a great spell for this team. Two goals in rapid succession. And we can see a slightly different viewpoint on it. With uh, a goal to his name, the midfield player is now coming off. Yeah, he's one of those key midfielders, probably one of the first on the manager's team sheet. Done himself no harm here. Just a reminder, 3-1 it is now, the scorer. Here's Lemina. Now William. And here come Chelsea, with some bright attacking play. In goal, Alex McCarthy. That's uh, an easy save for him. Well, they're on the comeback trail, Alan. 
Yeah, I can smell something in the air here. I think they can because they look the team on the up now. An important time for this manager here, trying to manage the situation and keep the lead, making this substitution with that game management in mind. Well, plenty of goals here today, 3-2. Lovely ball. He's in. Morata. Morata. And that will end the threat, at least for the moment. Here's William. Williams cross. Was passed by everyone, but one very nearly got on the end of it. And that decision from the referee play on means it's advantage Southampton here. We well, could be in. Saw the goal and went for it. Oh, what a miss. Well, what a chance for an equaliser that was. And I think the tension got to him, tightened up. Well, the manager will be delighted with the way his team have played so far, but he's going to make a substitution here just to uh, hope that he can retain this lead. It's looking good for Chelsea, isn't it? Could have been so different a story after that rather dismal first half, but they finally found their form in the nick of time. Pedro. A bit of pressure on the player, that's why it's gone out. Oriol Romeo to Davis. Able to cut that out with um, some sharp movement. Trying to catch the other team. And he could get away here. Oh, in too much of a hurry. Lost control. Still, as we are on the scoreline, but there's still time, even this late in the game, for a twist to the tail. Well, Southampton are a very fit side, and they're going to have to show that fitness now to try and get something in the latter stages of this game. Shot on! He's way off target. <laughs> the number's gone up as far as added time is concerned. It's four. Well, that's a, a good amount of time to try and get the equaliser. And maybe they might just think they can win this match. An opponent around him, that's good screening of the football. Maybe the chance to salvage something from this game. Another Gabbiadini. Could get the ball into the box now. And that's when you need a defender to show his clock. And the referee has ended it here. I think we thought that this team would be brushed aside. They proved those thoughts to be very misguided. Well, I think they'll get a real pat on the back from their manager because they gave it their all. Didn't leave anything out on the pitch there today. What a brilliant performance from this fella. Well, so often we think of his creative abilities, but a couple of goals here have won the match for his team. Good position, they've worked this attack very well into a quite a dangerous position now. It's a shot now. Morata hit the post. 
come off the goalkeeper, still in play. Only partially cleared, so there's still... Morata, and it's in for the equaliser. They spread it out wide here. Chance to get some width into... Morata! And that's an excellent goal. They're in front now. Played in the clear. It's opened up. 